Hello, Raphael Honigstein here. As you recall, West Ham brought in a top German two months ago, and I think it's fair to say he exceeded expectations. That's why they brought me in again. And I'm here to speak to Tino again. Tino, so nice to see you. Two months on, how's it been for you at West Ham? Yeah, nice to see you too. Um, it's been very exciting. Uh, straight into the games, try to get inside the team, get to know everybody as fast as possible. I have to say, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm feeling very good here. You were one of eight major signings this summer from David Moyes. How easy has it been for all of you to settle in? It has been very easy because there is a, a great atmosphere here. There, there's a great team spirit. Everybody came with a lot of ambitions, a lot of good spirit, good energy. A new city for you as well, new country, new league. How has London been for you so far? There hasn't been a lot of time to explore the city, but, um, but still a little bit and, and I have to say I, I really like it. And have you found uh, already a favourite restaurant that you go to? Not yet, because also I'm somebody that likes to try a lot of different things. And I think in Paris it took me two and a half years to find one restaurant where, where I said, OK, this is really the one that I, I favour to go. Mm -hmm. What about your favourite moment on the pitch with West Ham so far? I would say it, have, it just has been the interactions with our fans. It's great to play in front of these fans because I can sense um, the appreciation of, uh, of worth ethic, of, of, of pure football. Um, it's just great as a player. It encourages a feeling of wanting to give more. Mm. Now that you've been here for a little while, what do you think is realistic and as far as uh, your personal achievements this season is concerned, but also what the club might be able to do? The team and the players that we have, there is a lot of potential. And I think there's just some details and some things that need to, need to connect for us to get also the results. Because I think we had, had some really good performances, also against some of the top opponents in the league. And how would you s describe your first experience in terms of the football in the Premier League? It has been to what I expected than, than a big surprise because I've watched a lot of games before coming here already. I like the way that the games are refereed here with a little bit more um, fluidity in the games. And what's the biggest challenge that you faced? The speed of the game, the intensity and also the, the quality and especially the adversity of the opponents. Now you've won five games in Europa League in the group stage so far. What has that competition and that run of wins meant for you personally? To play in a European uh, uh, competition is, is, is a privilege. It means that you have qualified and, and worked for it and last year you see uh, the team going into the going through to the semi-final and and uh, and being eliminated very very close. You can imagine us and, and, and West Ham to go very far this year as well. Now, the Premier League soon going to have a little break because um, you're off to Qatar. How excited are you playing this World Cup? Really excited, really excited. Everything is just on being focused recovery, being in a good rhythm, being in a good shape. Also, to, of course, to, we have big, big goals with the club, but also to be prepared for the World Cup. What do you think Germany can do? I think we can do a lot. We have a, a team with, with great players, with, with huge quality. It's a little bit similar to, to, to West Ham because there's still some things to, to figure out and to to find connections inside of the team. When we'll do, there's not going to be much teams that can, stop, that can stop us. There's also a chance you might run into some teammates yeah. in the course of the competition. You already played against Declan Rice in the uh, Nations League. How was that? I mean, there's some moments in the game where you, where you have like a small moment to, to look to one in each other, to just ex exchange a, a word or, or laugh or smile or anything. The rest of the whole, of the, the most part of the game, you're just focused. And after that, you, you can sit and talk and laugh again. So that's, 
that's a nice thing about, about competition and, and about football. And finally, um, not sure many people know this, but you have your own charity that works in Burundi. Yeah, Bu uh, Burundi is, the, um, is the, the country of my mother. My dad, who is German, lived and worked in Africa in different charities, different projects. And uh, once I became a professional footballer, I said to myself, I want to give something back to the people there. With, with my foundation, we try to give them as much as possibilities to develop themselves, to, to, to be able to have platforms to show their, their potential, their talents, which, which are a lot there. And that's the main goal of, of, the, of the foundation. Amazing. Thank you so much, Tito. Yeah, thank you.